Y'all have been asking, so here's an update on the surprise babies that hatched eight foot up in my chicken coop. Let's get the bad news out of the way. The little baby that hatched with splay legs, which is basically where they can't keep their legs together, it did unfortunately pass away. I think it had some stuff going on internally, but I tried up until the very end, but it passed in its sleep. Now onto the good news. Mom and her four babies have been in this cage and pay no attention to the empty food bowl and water. I literally cleaned these out an hour ago, but she makes a big freaking mess. But mom and her four babies are doing well. She is absolutely psychotic. She's a cute little lady. And those of y'all asking her breed, she is a mutt mix hatched from some of the random bantams in my coop. Oh, can we see the babies? Are you, oh God, that was kind of mean. Oh, that's real mean. Can we see the babies? Look at the babies. Oh my golly, they're so cute. Okay, I'm sorry. We just had to show the internet. They were wondering, okay? Babies are super cute and adorable. The first week or so after a mom hatches babies, I usually keep them in a cage in my coop. And then after that, I put them in a transition pen out in the run of my coop and slowly transition the mama hen and her babies back into my flock. It just goes the best on transitioning everyone back in, not keeping the hens separated for too long. And then the babies have enough wings that they can hop up the stairs into the coop at night. But for those of y'all asking, mom and her four babies are doing well and she's psychotic.